Hey everybody, this is Johnny. Uh, just gonna go over some accessories I added to my Hyper Scorpion. And this is the Hyper Scorpion Express that came with the bigger rear rack that you could put a food bag. Um, I'll go over some design choices on that. I, I think you don't really need the big bag. It would be nice as if we had a base, just a base and you had a quick release underneath. I don't think you need the big cage. Uh, just making the profile of the bike, being able to take it off a little easier. But one of the first things I added was a crossbar. This was under 20 bucks, and this was really helpful for giving you something to add uh, other accessories to, free up some room on your handlebars. Uh, this is just a cheap, this is like less than 20 bucks uh, yeah, phone mount. I like this because I'm able to take my phone off. Um, you can switch the orientations you want and it's pretty helpful i've been doing uber eats every now and then and it's just nice being able to take my phone off quickly put it back on just make sure you put it on securely because i have dropped the phone a couple times uh, my sister <laughs> in vegas she sends uh christmas presents and usually they're uh, quite surprises but this one i actually find pleasant i don't know if she knew the color scheme of my bicycle but i kind of like the little rubber ducky he comes along for the ride it's got his little helmet um the horn is a bit rude when you're passing people on bike trails and such so i added you know the uh, brass bell i have a few of these laying around and i always try to keep them i got a bunch of bikes and it's always good to have a bell you know when you're passing somebody just give a heads up uh let's go i got the uh commercial food delivery bag it's kind of nice i keep a pool bag on the side just some basic pools uh and on this side i keep my i have an abus lock I've had this Avis lock forever. It's a little beat up. Maybe it's time to get a new one, but uh, one of my favorite locks gives you some options. Uh, I got the commercial food delivery bag. I use just a bungee to keep it on there. It's just something pretty easy, low tech. I'm able to take the bag on and off. It helps because uh, I got to carry it up these one, two, three steps, and then the fourth one getting in the door. And the trouble getting into my door is I have a uh, steps right in front of the, I have to make a 90 degree bend where I hit the uh, steps going up the second floor. Uh, oh, and my favorite accessory, of course, being from Pittsburgh. And I am the king of the Jagoffs. I special ordered that just off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Uh, but it, hey, like I said, I haven't done a lot of, shall we say, and I did get the booster seat or the tall seat option. That makes pedaling a lot easier because I'm about 6'2". Let's say I'm 250 line, maybe a little bigger than that. But uh, that really helps with pedaling. Um, I'm going to get some better pedals. These things are pretty much, uh, shall we say, lower end. And I did replace the pedal assist sensor. I was one of the people that when it got below 40 degrees, uh, basically my pedal assist cut out. It was fine above 40 degrees. It was pretty weird. But I was able to replace this is the pedal assist. And I do like that design that... Uh, some torque sensors are up in the front of, uh, you know, how do I say that, in the bottom bracket. But here they're using a strain gauge in the back, and it also has the cadence sensor, which picks up the small little uh, gear or cog in there. So I think that's a good design. It just, uh, mine happened to uh, just have a little bit of a flaw, and they sent me a new one, and it all's working. If you got any questions or anything like that, always feel free to hit me up, and hey, I'm going to go for a pedal. Bye-bye.